Hi there friends. Welcome to Stampin' Peace with Mary Nave. It is Monday, September 25th. It's officially fall. Autumn is here and um, I hope it's a wonderful season for everybody. It's always exciting. Um, football, Halloween, Thanksgiving, the holidays, Christmas holidays, um, and other December holidays are approaching quickly. So um, it's just uh, an exciting time. And it's also a time that reminds us to let go of things, right? And also reminds us that um, change is inevitable and change can also bring beautiful things to our life. So keep that in mind as you go through the season. I hope you had a great weekend. Mine was good. I um, went to Emily's for the weekend. Um, her dad was also there. And then Andrea and John and baby Riley um, met us north of Cincinnati on Saturday in Lebanon, Ohio. And we attended the Lebanon Apple Fest, which was a lot of fun, very crowded, but it was a beautiful day to be out. And we had a lot of fun and it was Riley's first Apple Fest, so it's always fun celebrating her, um, all of her little first, big and small. Um, today I've got um, a fun project, well, two cards planned for you, and both feature the tiny Christmas trees die. Um, this is something that's kind of overlooked in the catalog, and I thought I had my page marked, but let me take a look, because I do want to point out, point it out to you. It is on page 13, um, because I have to admit, the first couple times I went through the mini catalog, I totally missed this. So it's on page 13, here's the description, and then um, it shows it in a sample there. So that is our featured project for this week. Again, I'm making two cards today, and then I'll have another project or two featuring the tiny Christmas trees die on Thursday as well. I'm going to flip my camera to my craft space and while I'm doing that, please share this live video and invite others to join us this afternoon. Another featured project or product for today is the, actually, I'll just show you this small sample, is the Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green Foil. This too is in the mini catalog. Um, it's bright, it's cheerful, it's fun. Um, a little twist of colors for the holidays, but also something you can use for, say, birthday cards, um, what else? Hello, congratulations, miss you, all kinds of cards um, throughout the year using the Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green foil. Now I'm going to be bringing in my big or standard size stamp and cut and emboss machine because that is the size machine you need to work with the tiny Christmas trees die. The first thing I'm going to do is cut out or die cut using this tiny trees die and I'm got my melon mambo foil cut to five and a quarter inches by four inches. Five and a quarter by four. So I'm just going to center that die right on top. And I'm going to, I do want to angle it a little bit. Remember when you have a die with straight edges, you don't want those straight edges exactly parallel to the rollers. So you wanna offset them, put them through at an angle. 
and um, it will cut much better for you if you do that. Now when you die cut this, and you can see how well, look at all the pieces actually came out and die cut. Now what I like to do is save all these little trees. Do I have a project planned for them just yet? Um, sort of, and I may be showing that to you on Thursday, but I do like to keep these. They're just, um, you can use them as fun little embellishments on other cards. You can use them as a shaker card. You can see I have some from the samples I made. So I'll add those that just came out to that bag. Then I have a piece of the Granny Apple Green Foil cut. Now you can cut it the exact same size if you want because we're going to layer these and we're actually going to be layering them by using some of our many dimensionals. Deborah, I'm so glad you found me today, found me live. It's always nice to have you. Thanks to all of you who are joining and all of you who have shared or even tagged a friend to join us. And remember, you can share and tag your friends at any point during the live. You can even do it after. And I just wanna make sure there's enough. I'm probably putting a little more than I usually would on, but I want to be sure that The, um, the entire surface of this is lifted off the page. Now I'm just gonna pull off these little bits. All these teeny tiny backings that will probably follow me upstairs and into my car or my bedroom or even outside on the porch. You never know where I'm gonna find these. Does that happen to you? They seem to cling to you and everything else, and then we find them in strange places. Let's scoot this one over. It's a little too close to the edge for me. And then I just want to layer this on top of the other. Now I'm gonna give you a tip here. Sometimes it can be hard to layer it ex when they're exactly the same size. So you might wanna cut this down just a smidgen. And when I say a smidgen, I mean a smidgen, not even an eighth of an inch. Okay, you can see the tiniest little bit. If you would go an eighth inch smaller, and on each dimension, it's gonna be really be too small and it will be difficult to um, make sure you have the green showing in all of these trees, especially at the very top and the very bottom. So that's why I say if you're gonna trim it down, just trim it down a smidgen. It's like a 16th of an inch, hardly at all. And I'll flip it over so you can see. See, it's very little, it's not even an eighth of an inch. Then I'm also going to suggest, um, I'm going to do it now, but you might want to even do it when your card is complete. Have some kind of microfiber cloth nearby or like a soft um, t-shirt material. And then you can go over your shiny foil and get any um, fingerprints off. Okay, yes, Jenny, I only use the most professional technical terms in my Facebook Lives, just like smidgen. <laughs> Sounds like something my dad would say. All right, next I'm using the white iridescent ribbon. Isn't this pretty? This is kind of like um, when we use the iridescent 
rhinestones, they tend to pick up the color of the um, things that, that we're using on our card or project. Same thing with this iridescent ribbon. It really tends to pick up the melon mambo and the granny apple green of the foil that we're using here. So it's just, it's a fun thing to work with, I think, because it not only sparkles, but also gives off some of those pretty shades of color in the ribbon. And I'm going to trim the ends at an angle. And remember, you can slide this ribbon up to be higher or lower. You can also curve your paper if you want to put the knot in different places. All right, couple little tricks. Don't feel you have to get that exactly in the place right from the start. You always have that option to um, move it up or down or left or right when you tie it all the way around your layers. Now my made my card base from basic white thick cardstock. The thick cardstock is intended for card bases. That's because it stands up a little um, sturdier. It's stronger when it stands up than our regular basic white cardstock. So the other basic white cardstock, the one that, where you get 40 in a package, 40 sheets in a package, that I use for stamping and layering the thick basic white or the thick very vanilla I use for the card bases. I like to say that because occasionally somebody asks, well, what's the difference and why? When do you use one and not the other, etc.? So thick basic white and thick very vanilla are intended for card bases because they stand up um, much more nicely and are a little bit stronger. All right, I put two of these tailor-made tags out. I previously stamped these, or uh, die cut these, I should say, and I'm going to stamp Merry Christmas with Granny Apple Green ink. And this comes from the Regal Reindeer stamp set. We had this around last year, um, and it has a great set of dies, and I believe it's in the annual catalog. The tailor-made tags are um, ones that I, oops, pressed too hard there, ones that I like to have die cut and stored in my bin. That way, oh, that wasn't the straightest, was it? Let me try again. Um, this is one set of dies where I'll have Andrea, um, my assistant, my helper, um, die cut lots for me at once, and then I keep a surplus of them just because I use them so often that it's a big, for me, it's a big time saver that I have a bunch of these already die cut and I don't have to get out my machine every time I want to die cut a tag. And I went ahead and did two because I'm going to be using one on my second card as well. So I'll set that aside for now and I will pop this up. Where are my dimensionals? Here they are. And I'm going to put this on my card front in a way that it kind of appears that um, the ribbon has gone through the hole, but it hasn't. I just like to keep things simple. So there's really no need to make it go through the hole of the tag, pull the ribbon through the hole of the tag, and then tie it, you can just slip it underneath and it looks like it's already that way. So fun, simple, very easy card.
right? And you don't necessarily have to use that Christmas tree die with the foil papers. You can use it with any color cardstock. You can use it with designer series papers, etc. Now I'm going to make a similar card. And get it out here. Again, my card base is made with basic white thick cardstock. I've got a piece of the Granny Apple Green foil that measures five and a quarter by four inches. And I'm going to adhere it to the front of my white card base with some dimensionals. Just gonna put it right there in the center. Now I have a piece of the Melon Mambo foil that I have previously cut to two and a quarter inches by four inches. And I'm going to die cut this again with the tiny Christmas trees die, the tiny Christmas trees die. And when I put this on here, remember I'm going to put this my paper at an angle because I also want to angle my die in here. I don't want those straight edges going through the rollers parallel. I want them offset at an angle. And what I want to do with this piece of foil is I'm centering the die on it left to right, but then I want to get three rows of the Christmas trees. Might be easier for you to see from the back what I'm doing, okay? And if you feel like this might move around on you and you want to make sure that doesn't happen, add a little washi tape or even a post-it note to hold your die and your foil in place. And then I'm ready to die cut that. So you can see it's very easy to use this die for a larger piece of foil or cardstock or even designer series paper. Or you can, that is the same size as the die, five and a quarter by four inches. Or you can cut. Um, your paper to smaller increments, smaller sizes, if you want those, want to use those as just a portion of your card. So I like the way that turned out. I'm going to use my mini Stampin' Dimensionals here. And then I will add this to my card front. So when you think about it, it's a very easy, very basic um, card layout. Standard size card, five and a quarter by four inch layer. And then I have a layer that measures two and a quarter by four inches. And I like mine towards the bottom but you could put it near the top. You could even put it right across the center of your card front. So you've got a few different options to play with. Next, I'm going to add my Merry Christmas tag. And again, that was that tag is die cut from the tailor-made tags dies, and I used the Granny Apple Green ink to match the Granny Apple Green foil on my card. Now this time, 
I just made a knot with some of that pretty iridescent ribbon and put the back of the knot on a mini glue dot and I can press it right down onto my card. By the way, this is a tip that if you would be making, um, and I'm actually I did this last week, um, can't show you what it is because it's a surprise for the Creative Escape attendees next weekend, two weekends from now. Two weeks? Yes, two weekends from now. <laughs> but here's an example. For that, I have 60 guests attending. And one of the things to give them, I um, decorated with a little tag, a um, little bit larger tag than this. And then I wanted a ribbon or a knot on each one. So instead of tying a bow, I just tied 60 knots with my ribbon. And what I did was made several, made all my knots all at once, and then I simply put them on mini glue dots. And I just kept like this running strip, because you know, I like to do things assembly line style. So I made all my bows at once, and then I put all of them on a strip of mini glue dots so that then when I was ready to put that project together, all I had to do was pull off the knots from the strip and stick them on the project. Pull off the knot, stick it on the project. So that's a good way. Um, if you're a demonstrator and do classes and you want to make bows or knots ahead of time for your customers um, coming to your classes, that sort of thing, this is something that you can do in advance as well. So just like to share that little tip. So those are my two cards, okay? And again, featured project products used were number one, the, make sure I have the name of this correct, the tiny Christmas trees die, the tiny Christmas trees die, it's a single background die, okay? And then the Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green foil sheets. Those are 12 by 12 foil sheets, and you're going to get four sheets in a package, two of each color, okay? Um, and pretty reasonably priced. And then again, we used our iridescent ribbon, which is so, so pretty. What do you think? Do you like these cards? Easy card layouts, aren't they? Very basic, very easy. Margaret, thanks for sharing. I always appreciate you doing that. Who would like to um, perhaps win a card this afternoon? If you are interested in having your name put into the drawing to receive one of these cards, what I'd like you to do is type in the comments. I'm going to pull this out so you can see it better. Tiny Christmas trees die. Tiny Christmas trees die. All right. Everybody who types in the comments, tiny Christmas trees die, will have their name entered into the drawing to possibly win one of these two cards made today. The second thing I would like you to do is to mark your calendar for Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be back with another project that um, will feature, again, the product of the week being um, the Christmas tree dies, tiny Christmas trees die. <laughs> I gotta say that correctly, tiny Christmas trees die, and the Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green foil, okay? All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I have to admit, I am not feeling well today. So it was one of those days where I was like, oh, do I really wanna do this? And I always know that if I'm feeling kind of yucky or not feeling well, um, I can get on here and have a fabulous time 
um, sharing with all of you. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Oh, one third thing, another reminder for today. At 7 p.m. this evening, I will be having my craft and chat evening. It's an hour and a half from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time this evening. And it is by Zoom. There is no demonstration or teaching on my part. We all come to simply come together to do whatever craft we want on our own and then um, just spend a little time getting to know each other, sharing what we're working on. You can ask me anything you want about um, Stampin' Up! or my business or products, that sort of thing. And it's just spending a little time together and giving ourselves an hour and a half to simply focus on um, working on a project. I'm not sure what I'm working on tonight. Probably my plan was to do a kit, um, and I will probably do that, but I also might be doing some um, preparations for my Creative Escape Weekend as well. So I hope to see you then. If you are interested in joining, all you have to do is look in um, here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe Facebook page for a reminder that I put out today, and I will type up another reminder as soon as I say goodbye here. Um, and I hope to see lots of you with us. Sometimes there's four, five, six. Sometimes there's a dozen or more, but it's always fun. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye.